Hello and welcome back. This is part one of making uh, this altered file folder um, folio. I guess there's going to be a journal in it. Um, I did do another part which went up earlier today which was me just faffing around really um, getting things ready. So I'm going to leave putting the material on the front for now and what I want to do is <clears throat> this is the main reason uh, why I want to do a file folder is I want to create um, I don't I don't know I don't know what to call it um, so I've got every size cream envelope out that that I've got um, I don't think I'm going to be using them all but I'm going to start off from the smallest and I'm not concerned at this part thinking are these going to be pockets where are they going to open i just want to cover the fronts of them so i don't have to make that decision of um are they going to be pockets or not until i decorate the backs um so i just want to kind of see how the picture evolves going from uh the small uh to to the large I hope that makes sense it probably doesn't but um hopefully it will as as we go go on so i suppose all i've got to think is where do i want this first envelope so i can either go from this one onto the square one or i can go on to a taller narrow one I like that so I'm gonna start with with this one and I'm thinking now that's one of those nice um, openings what well, you don't have to um, you don't have to be so, so careful when you're covering the back so I want to start right at, at the bottom on this one and I will probably fold that over. Okay, so I think this first one is going to attach to to that one like so, and then the third one is going to attach to the front there, and that's all I'm going to think about uh, for now. So let's take this first one and. I've decided to use the the tea dye, and I'm just gonna just gonna go around these edges, and I've got a nice picture from a book um, to start to start it off. So I've got this lovely uh, gate piece, which I thought would be like the gate to um, the bluebell woods <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is cover this envelope in the kalal and I'm just hopefully gonna hope that I can just place it um, underneath the image of the gate And I'm really excited about this. I need to stop myself from going giddy. I did something similar uh, to this last year. I can't remember. I think I was doing some kind of woodland um, thing. And that kind of gave me the idea for um, a lot of the pieces for this for this kit because I wanted to do um, this <laughs> so yeah I've waited I've waited a while so let's 
yeah so I've got I've got that gate in uh, nice I'm gonna use the the brayer just to just to give it a nice press down and then I'm gonna cut around it so let's get the big scissors out these are gonna be long videos because it's you know doing it all to file folder they got the big jobs um and apart from the sewing um you know i'll be doing everything on camera so this will be you know quite an involved uh project i love it yeah that's beautiful so i'm just gonna cut that off because i can obviously use that in in something something else and um that can go uh in the scraps for um something future so it was a bit waste of time inking around the envelope i might as well have have waited so just go around there so that was a picture from one of the um gordon badenfield books so that that's the first piece so <coughs> that's going to attach to there so i've not thought any further um than than that you know for each kind of piece so i've got lots of trees uh from the kit i think I've got the odd one from um, books. Oh, you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong pouch. Um, I'm going to do something with these, with the gaps um, another time. I don't think I'm going to want these teeny tiny ones, but they may go like towards the the background i've printed this kit off in many different uh sizes so i've got all sorts of different um sizes so that's a nice book image i have got um those pictures that i showed you earlier um that i still need to to cut out from book images Just roughly getting them in a bit of a, I think they're probably bigger and they're humongous. So put those there. No, they're going to probably be too small um, for that next one. Could do with um, a half size really. That's, that's smaller, isn't it? Hmm, so I might go to this one next. So let's have a look how um, I would arrange it. could do with moving my camera up slightly and I'll bring it in. Okay, I think that's a decent, a decent view for you. Um, so are these all kind of the same size? Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. So they're probably the taller. Um of them so the next size is kind of that which is <coughs> enormous and then we've got this size which I could obviously cut down um, this I was gonna call them stems um, not stems, the, you know, <laughs> so the same as that, yeah. Oh, that one's a bit smaller. 
but bigger than than those right let's have a look what because i'm wondering what this um sky paper would look like so if that was on there no i'd have to like tear it off wouldn't i and then have green going into the into the blue or hmm. yeah it's funny when you think things in your head to actually um doing it but yeah the sky would want to be um up there let me just <clears throat> i've never ever done anything like this <laughs> so let me just perhaps if i just just rip it like that let me just fold that over before i cut it okay wondering if this kind of thing would would have been better on one of the bigger um sheets and then i've got that left from scraps so if that was kind of in there but obviously at a different could have probably done with uh, printing this paper out I've only done it in one size I could have perhaps done with doing it um, in different sizes like two to a page four to a page okay I've just swapped over to the to that envelope and I think I think that will look okay let's just do it right so I'm going to rip down this side I think I'll go there okay rip that bottom off I think I'll go so if that went there and that went there yeah so just that that's gonna go there maybe higher yeah I think there so I'm gonna stick this one down first um, so if I put the glue to about here and I'll stick stick that on yeah okay so I could do yeah, with that middle piece about there. So and then let me that 
is about right. Just gonna go. Obviously, now you can see those trees. That's it. Because that will be cut off. Yeah, that's it. Right, let me cut um, this side off so I can see. Um, where I'm, where I'm going. Okay. Oh man, that's gonna lay in there. Just gonna put a little bit of mm, ink there, just because it's all white. And I'm gonna put the glue on here. But yes, I kind of have the vision in my head, but um, obviously then when you're working with the, the paper, it's, um, it, it's not like painting a picture, is it? Not like I can paint, but... Um, okay. Yep. Side cut off. Try not to cut any of the envelope, but if I do, then I can work work around that. Oh, <laughs> I think I caught it there. Right, let's use use that. Lovely. Let's get rid of these little straps i think that's just the dog end of a tree right so yeah i like that because then we've got the continuation of the sky and then we've got the continuation of the trees lovely so i'm going to ink around sides and stick one of those trees just to fill fill the space a little bit more okay so let's look where we want it was it was it that one I think it was so I think that would cross be be good. What do I? Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Okay, so what am I going to put? Um, Probably carry that on. Um, I'll get some more of that paper and do that so that carries carries on. Um, but I want something on here. Just wondering if to just put that part tree there, just to get rid of that. Um, space. Oh, don't need to ink that side. It's going to be cut off. Right, so. And then I don't, I don't know if to have this, I don't know if to have a word across there, you know, kind of bluebell woods or or just go, you know, straight into the, we're in the woods. <laughs> Because maybe the gate is enough of a introduction to to the woods kind of thing. Just 
oops everything's wanting to to fall <clears throat> Okay, let me uh, think. Um, so maybe just something small in in there. I do think I know. I said, oh, I, I'm not going to bother decorating this side. I do feel like I probably want to instead of waiting, just so I can see um, the full the full picture. So I'm just getting another piece. Of this. And yeah, perhaps if I carry it on. So I'm just going to cut this bottom. And cut down this edge. Now, I definitely don't want the first one as as a pocket because I don't want something um, at the top of here. I don't think I want anything coming out here. So I'm not bothered about gluing um, that totally down. So I'm going to cut that off so we've not got that um, hanging over. And I'm going to stick this down on here, just like so. So if I just put the glue straight onto here and then I can cut it, cut it out. And I'm thinking one of those small trees I might stick over this side and have that as, as a little um, tuck. Make sure it's the right way. And try and get that into that. Um, a little bit lovely yep and we'll cut round that okay <clears throat> okay so I've inked that I'm going to attach this just so it's not um you know flopping flopping over why while, while we think about decorating i'm gonna have to fill my colour up okay so make sure it's the right way and i want that flush with that one at the bottom <clears throat> make sure it's in at the side Ooh, looks like that's a bit further down I think that's it so let's have a look we want to push that in just a little bit more that's better okay <laughs> it's coming together right what do I want now um, let's have a look in here I could really do with a tray that I'm emptying these into otherwise I'm going to end up with stuff absolutely everywhere let me keep one of these trees out because I was thinking of um I'll keep a couple out. I was thinking of doing a little tuck um, with one of those. So, yeah, I could definitely do a 
there's something that I'm pouring pouring them into. Um, what I am looking for is I don't know. <laughs> now, if I didn't want the top of these trees, I could perhaps put put one of the walls uh, there, which would be very nice. I'm not sure if it goes with my gate though. Hmm. So I could possibly do do that. It's not quite tall enough, is it? But I can put something something there. I mean what I could do. It's, it's put a whole uh, tree there. I don't have to be that finicky, but <laughs> um, yeah, I probably will be. <laughs> so that's that's a possibility, and I would just do it um, to to there. So let's let's fold that. And I'm just going to tear it and I think I'm going to go a bit more um, up to down the tape with it so that would probably be better so I'm just going to do some you know so it's not um, a straight piece because if it's a wall it needs to be a bit jaggedy okay and the same on this edge Okay, so I've inked um, that and I'm going to start it there. So I'm gonna, yeah, that's fine. Now, I'm just going to stick it down um, as if it was a bit of a, a bit of a talk. And then, you know, if something wanted tucking in there or if I decide... I want something behind um, the wall then I can get behind it so I'm going to pop that there I'm not going to put a tree there because I was thinking about it you know when when you're looking the trees are in all different um, heights so that's going to go there and then I'm going to continue the brick wall just to there and I've, I've cut it off as if, you know, as if it's fell, fell down. So I really want to get into that. I'm going to glue this completely down. Um, the story um, <laughs> of it. So this is my broken down wall there and I mean I have got some um, individual stones you know so I could I mean that's probably a little bit too big but you know I could have had an odd couple of um, stones across there the bottom to see what that looks like let's do it the other way yeah I like that okay That's that. Now I'm thinking I would like one of the um, signposts that 
cut came in the kit and I either want it here or here um, and I'll decide about having um, a tree as a as a tuck I might I had got some bushes I think I've used um, used them all in the ephemera that I did Hmm. I might have to print the odd, the odd thing out. Right, signposts are in this one because I did separate um, things. So that's that's one of the signs. Again, they come in all different um, sizes. Sorry if you've just got my um, elbow. Oh, I thought, oh, I'll separate things to make it easier. Hmm. It's not really easy. <laughs> I, I didn't, well, I can't tip all this out on the table as well. Um, I'll not be able to, to move. Okay. Okay, so I found a few of the signposts out. Um, a lot of these have shrunk um, down. I like that one there. I have got things to put on them, but um, I'll find those out another time. No, that's probably not in, in proportion, is it? I think I used um, a lot of the taller, taller ones. Could have that there, or I could slip that behind there. Look. Hmm. I do. I want that there. I quite like that as like a danger um, sign, but then this is sign. Oh, that's the point. I could, wonder if I could have it right on here, and then would that show? Oh yes, oh I like that. So I mean, I could have that higher okay wants to be about there that's what I'm gonna do so let me ink around there because I've got things what say this way and that way and things like that okay uh, art glitter so I want it to go as far onto that side as I can. So. Probably should have done it with Kalal, you know, just for that slide. Oh, I love that. I do appreciate this kit might be too too fiddly uh, for some people. But um, yeah, for <coughs> for those of you who really want to play play about with scenes and, and things like that, um, I, th I think you're going to really um, in enjoy it. I think you could definitely get lost in in the woods. Okay, clean this one down. I'm gonna just have that there. Okay. 
Lovely. Yeah, I don't know if I want anything else on on there or or not. I don't think I've got like a bird tiny enough just to um, sit. Um, you know, I've got a butterfly. Um, lots of like little sticks you know what I can have laying laying about um but yeah that's probably second round of, of decorating isn't it so yeah I think for now um I'm fine with with that Okay, so the next um, envelope I'm going to put in is this one. So it'll go that'll open, that'll open. Maybe I could stick that in there. No, that'd be be weird. I think I'm going to have to attach, oh, I don't know. That would open. That would open. But I think then the next one I need to open. Um, the other way, otherwise everything's going to open the same. Maybe I need to, I need to think about that. It's weird because I always do it from big uh, to small. So, um, yeah, I've never, I don't think I've ever gone uh, from small to to big so if that went like that and then that one like that say that one like that that one there Ah, that one there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I might have to stick all these together, you know, just so I can now keep track of um, what's what. So, I might carry this uh, wall to there then. That would be be nice. Yeah, so I am going to have to keep keep that in in mind. So I could decorate the back of this one, couldn't I? Because I think I'm going to have this as as a pocket at the top. Yes, I think I will. Right. I'm just thinking what I made in um, <clears throat> last month when I was making the ephemera because I'm wondering if one of these can, you know, be be a scene. Um, See, so I'm going to use those as pockets. That's where I used all the um, the bushes. And the trees. I think probably everything's the wrong way. Ah, now there's these um, benches. Obviously, that one's far too big. <laughs> but I could possibly have that there and carry on a scene uh, behind it because that's a pocket there. And then obviously we've got the stone wall there. 
So that would be um, a nice idea. I mean, I could probably get one of these um, in here. I mean, that might be nice on, on the last uh, one. Is there anything else that I could possibly use at this point? No. Um, so it would either be that or that, but I mean, that would probably make a nice... Um, to go inside it. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the, the stone the stone wall. So it will be, if I just take those out, so I know that that's kind of a continuation of. So that would go there. Right, what other wall stones have I got? I could have probably done with, um, I've got a sty here that probably wants to go on one of the, the bigger ones. And that's uh, a different wall that was from a, a die from eBay. Right, I've got smaller wall. I quite like that that bigger one nope. these are going to be fun uh, to play with um, so I've got some stones but yes, I need some something else to keep my things um, in. Ah, I've got some tree stumps. They were very nice to, to add. No, I did use these, which is a, a die. So I think using a couple of those on the background. I think I've got a half one there. So let's pull um, that out. Um, I don't think I want any owls. Let's pull a few more stones out. And then we'll have to think about what paper um, I want to use in the background. Uh, big things. Oh, got a little. Let's keep those out. A um, couple more rocks. Really could do with some tiny um, birds. That's Papa. I was going to call it an elephant. <laughs> no, not an elephant. A bunny. A little bunny. Um, that's perhaps all I need. A few more, a few more rocks. How big is he in comparison with with everything? I'll just pop him there for for now. I think the owl would be. Mind you, I mean some owls are humongous, aren't they? Right. Another tiny bench. I don't think that will go um, with it. Oh, we've got that hair. Mm, got a little tiny butterfly there. Put him on the fox. Is he, is he smaller? I'll just keep him out for a minute. Right, okay. So that's kind of 
what I'm going with. Um, so we need to think about background. You could be ready for some uh, William Morris background, really. Just have it in in a green. Because you, by the time it's decorated up, you're not actually gonna see see that much of it anyway. So let me cut down here. I said I was opening the top of the envelope, didn't I, on this one? glue down there and then across here and here and then at this edge and then once I put the paper down that will mean that entire um, inside is is open Otherwise, it would only be that big inside because the glue would make it smaller. Okay, I'm going to put some uh, colour on. I think everything needs um, filling up. It doesn't seem very long ago since, um, since I filled everything. Okay. So hopefully we'll have time to, to get these uh, two, two done and then it'll give me some time to think um, where I'm going to go with it uh, next. Okay, I think there'll be, be enough glue on there. So I can't see right up there. I've put the colour on just to give me a bit of um, movement. That should be fine. Okay. Let's cut around here. Not cutting my post off. She says. Some people may find it easier to, to measure and cut with the um, cutter. Um, sometimes I do that and sometimes I do I do this. <laughs> I think it just depends depends what mood I'm in. Right, so let's get around ear inked. And I will want to open that top before um, I join the two the two envelopes because it might make it a bit a bit difficult. Oh, that top's going to be gone anyway, isn't it? Okay, so that's that's that bit. Um, that's going to go on there or there because originally it's a pocket there and I thought it'd be a good tuck as well so I think I'll bring it more to this side so I might just want to just stick now I could either it was that my wall for for that side I think it was um, I could either put that there, which I don't think, or just put a couple like here. Just 
just so it doesn't, you know, just finish straight away. So I'm going to pop that down there. I inked every single one of these stones. <laughs> I enjoyed every single bit of it. Uh, I just sat watching watching YouTube as I, as I did it. Okay, and then I'm going to pop that on there. Like so. Let me just look in the camera to see if I'm, yeah, miles down. Um, sorry about that. And then I'll just pop that there. Like so. And that can go there. Yeah, so I'm going to stick that down. So I want to stick it down that side and across here. Just going to go just up there a little. I don't know why, but just some, some the right thing to, to do. Right. I just lift that up. It's just double checking it was um, the right, the right way as well. Yeah, I like that. So that's there. like that <laughs> I'd have to glue it down well because obviously it is a I do quite like it let's do it because that's um you know what what I want it to to feel like when when you are in the woods and you know, you accidentally uh, see a squirrel or a deer, and um, so that's that's the feel that I want to that I want to give it. That oh, look at that! You know, there. There we go. So he's just poking poking out there. Okay, now I want to add some of that some of this greenery so I could stick that down there so it looks as if it's kind of a continuation of so let's do do that I'll do it a bit lower because, like I say, I want to cut that um, top. So that's there. And then I think I'm going to join that to, to there, like that. And it's really peekabooing. So I've nearly been on an hour. So I think what I'll do is just talk talk through what I'm going to do and I shall just finish this part. Um off screen so I'm going to cover this back with the same paper I'm going to have that wall um, there um, I'm going to add an animal 
and a few of the um, bluebells and that is probably um, it so and then we can continue on a full um, page next time and I will just slit um, across there but I'm going to wait until till that's um, a bit more dry so and then I think if I go like that Okay, like that. The only thing I don't like is the way, like, all three of them are joined. So I'm going to put that there just to so you can't see that. It, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's irritating me. Okay. <laughs> so that's that. Um, where was that tiny butterfly? Not that one. Um, there was a flying one somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to pop that up, up there. And I might die cut or something, some little um, white f flowers just to, to put on, on there. So that is is that for for the time being, um, and like I say, I will finish that off. So what have we got so far? We've got our gate. We open up. We've got a wall, which is a little uh, tuck, and then we've got a pocket there and a tuck there. So that that's that so far. Um, yeah, thoroughly enjoy enjoyed uh, that um, and I will see you uh, next week for part two. I'm just going to do uh, one part every uh, week because I think I'll need some some thinking uh, time in between everything because I do want to take, take my time with that. <laughs> right, thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.